Hi everybody and welcome to today's LEGO Technic video. Uh, what I'm going to be presenting to you today is my latest creation. It's a three speed automatic gearbox using the powered up hub and functionality. So when powered up first came out, um, to be honest, I didn't think that much of it. I thought I was just pretty much power functions, but using your phone as a remote. So instead of using your regular physical uh, remote control like this, it uses a phone with Bluetooth. And I thought that was pretty much all that was to it, but actually I was quite wrong. Um, powered Up is actually really powerful. I've downloaded the Powered Up app onto my phone and discovered you can actually do a lot of programming that I didn't realize you can do. And what that meant is you can actually control like motor speed, motor position, you can use the motor to measure angles and things like that. So using all those ideas, I've come up with a three speed automatic gearbox that I'll be presenting to you today. Okay, so before we begin, I'll tell you a little bit about the Powered Up app. Uh, when you first run it up, the Powered Up app, it comes up with the standard LEGO uh, sets that use the Powered Up controllers, and you can use that to control, for example, the train or something else like that. However, it's also got um, its own create function, so over here you can create your own programs, and I've just created a small Powered Up demo program. So what the Powered Up allows you to do is actually program up uh, behind the scenes using these kind of visual blocks, uh, very handy, so you can create uh, you can create loops, start, stop, pauses, you've got uh, the motor controls, you've got different inputs, you've got a lot of different logic functions, there's actually a lot to the app that allows quite a lot of flexibility, and what I've done here, I've written a small program just to control just a, a single motor connected up to a hub like this, and what I've programmed in is the ability to turn on that motor at uh, different speeds, and also different directions and also show you how you can control the position of the motor so if we go back to the uh, controller so just simply made the yellow button one turn on the, the motor at a 50 percent speed so again you can control the speed uh, as well as direction i've made button uh, the green button go in reverse direction at 100 percent speed uh, and i have made so i can stop it like that and also I've made the blue button rotate at 90 degrees so you can rotate at any angle that you like and not only that you can also measure that angle that you're at so at the moment this dial here shows you the angle of measurement I can reset that measurement back to zero and when I do a 90 degree turn you can now see that the motor is at, is at roughly 90 degrees so if we do that again 180 so it's a very powerful programming interface and what that means is you can not only control the motor speed position uh, and angle of rotation and things like that but you can also actually use the motor as a measurement tool so not only is it showing the angle that it's uh, rotated to by pushing the blue button but I can also rotate it manually you can see if my hands on in the way you can see the, um, the angle changing on the display there and you can use that as a measurement method for measuring uh, location of the motor so you can use it as a sensor not only is a motor to generate power but also as a, a measurement tool and i've used that very measurement in my three uh, speed automatic gearbox to measure the torque uh, on the output so in general when you're building an automatic gearbox the idea is to have some sort of a torque measurement device so here we've got the output here i've got an input and here i've got a gear switching mechanism to switch between one of two gears a, uh, a high gear and a lower gear and the idea is, is that when the input's rotating and the output's rotating, that as soon as there's some sort of torque on the output, um, the torque measurement device will measure that and then switch gears. Now I've made an attempt at creating a gearbox like this in the past using the orange rotary catch to uh, drive the gear selection. But the problem with it is, is that as soon as there's any sort of torque on the output and it starts rotating that orange rotary catch in order to be able to shift gears from gear one to gear two or two to one uh, the problem is that it loses traction because momentarily um, the output will be disconnected from the input so for example if i rotate the input and then hold the output still it'll start rotating the orange rotor to catch in order to make that switch but what happens is that you kind of lose traction and it kind of just pops it doesn't fully connect onto the other gear in order to, be able to you know carry on uh, with a gear switch and so that's been a big problem so i have made attempts in the past to create an automatic gearbox like this but like i said you lose that traction and then it stops working so the idea with the uh, powered up functions is that because when you do the torque measurement you can through your program uh, instruct one of the motors to 
change gears uh, so even if you do lose that traction because of the programming you can force it to carry on rotating the orange rotary catch into the correct position and of course because you can program the position of the motor like I just demonstrated before at for example 90 degree angles it's uh, very convenient and that you can just program it to make exact um, 90 degree switches for changing gears so that is the benefit of using the power up app so you can overcome some uh, mechanical limitations that you might find otherwise when you do try to build an automatic gearbox okay so I'll just tell you a bit about this automatic gearbox now it is relatively complicated compared to other automatic gearbox designs but it, it does give you a lot of benefits so what I've got here is the main driving motor so I've used a, uh, a large powered up motor for that um, over here I have got the uh, gear switching mechanism so in this case I've created three forward gears and one reverse gear and the automatic gear switching is just for the forward gears and you can manually switch uh, to reverse uh, we've got the output here uh, under here we've got the uh, torque detection so I've used a uh, differential for that to detect the torque and then we've got these uh, rubber bands at the front to be able to drive that torque backwards that torque detection then rotates this motor here which is used as a, a position detector so it doesn't actually drive the mechanism it's purely used for detecting the torque so as there is torque on the output this part here will rotate and rotate the position of that detection motor and then finally I've got another motor that's actually uh, for the gear switching so that drives that orange rotary catch on here through a 1 to 3 gearing ratio so pretty much have to rotate uh, this motor at 270 degrees to create a 90 degree rotation on that orange rotary catch for the gear switches so um, overall so I've got the program that I've written on the iPhone in order to control the whole system and the idea is, is that as you measure the torque it'll switch between the three different gears uh, so as when the torque's the maximum it'll switch down to the lowest gear so in this case the lowest gear has got a 1 to 5 gearing ratio uh, so that's 0.2 I think the next gear up is 0.6 and then the highest gear is just 1 to 1 and I've driven the overall output through another 1 to 3 um, gearing ratio in the middle there alright so I'll just show you the powered up app I've created for controlling this uh, 3 speed automatic gearbox so I'll just bring that up now now unfortunately in the Powered Up app you can't really label your buttons, you can choose different colours but you can't really put labels on so you can remember kind of what button does what just from uh, memory in terms of the colours or the way you've got it laid out. So what I've created over here is this red button and that is the calibration button. Now you, with the Powered Up app uh, because you can measure positions of angles of motors and things like that and use the angle of the motor to go to a particular position you generally have to calibrate your model first because when you first start it that motor rotation could be at any angle so you have to kind of take it to the extreme and then come back again in order to be able to calibrate the motor so I've created that red button to do that so I'll just push that and that will calibrate the um, gear change motor so obviously it needs to know what position it's in in order to, be able to change gears uh, so it's just what it did there it went to one extreme and then from that extreme it went back and worked out the uh, correct uh, angle for the starting position I've also created three buttons for changing gears. I've got gear one, two, three, and reverse. So by pushing one of those, for example, gear two, you can see uh, that rotation on the on that motor to, to change the gear two, gear three, and gear one. Uh, I've got this very small switch up here that just turns on the main motor, so I can turn that on now. And you can see we have got output rotating. And we're currently in gear one, I believe. So that's gear one. So gear 2, I'm going faster, and gear 3 is the fastest, a little bit rattly, but it's the top gear, and then we can go in reverse like that, and we can turn the motor off again. Uh, this dial here measures the torque output, so like I said before, we've got that yellow indicator there attached to the torque measurement motor, and by rotating uh, that we can see on the iPhone screen, we can see that number here changing. Uh, so that is what's used to measure the torque on the output. Uh, so I'll just give you a demonstration of that first. So like I said, uh, the automatic gear switching button is that one. So at the moment it's kind of in manual mode. If I turn on the motor and maybe put it in, say, the middle gear, gear 2. Uh, then as I put torque on that output, we can see that yellow dial 
changing and measuring the torque output so I can slow it all the way down and goes to about minus 30 and then when there's little to no torque it's sitting around 0 to 2 uh, and then for example I can go to gear 3 and gear 3 will stall before there's a, a huge amount of torque on that output so generally speaking the way I've done the programming is that when there's a torque of about minus 4 or 5 It'll switch down to gear 2, and then if gear 2 experiences uh, you know, a lot of torque as well, maybe all the way down to minus 20 or 25, it'll switch to gear 1, and of course gear 1 is very powerful, that is that gear with a 0.2 gearing ratio, and that is very, very strong. So that is the strongest gear. Alright, I'll just show the gearbox in action, I'll turn on the powered up functions main motor. Uh, we're currently in gear 2, as soon as I turn on the automatic gear selection we can see we go to gear 3. I'll now put some loading on and as that loading increases we can see the indicator sitting at minus 8. We have now switched automatically to gear 2. As I put in even more loading it will now automatically switch to gear 3. As I reduce that loading again then gear 2 will kick back into action. It's quite hard to do manually. But yeah, around minus 14, we should kick back to gear 3, put the loading back on, we're on gear 2, more loading, gear 1, let go, we go straight to gear 3. So that is the 3 speed automatic gearbox powered by the Power Up app in action. I'll just quickly show you some of the app behind the scenes so we can click on the programming blocks, uh, I've got this adjustment subroutine which will uh, adjust the gear so that kind of looks like this these are the logic blocks so at the top here this is switching from gear 1 to gear 2 uh, this logic block here switches between from gear 2 to either 1 or 3 and the final logic block changes from gear 3 down to 2 and I've got some other uh, supplemental functions, these are the gear change functions and these are the buttons they control those gears. So yes, uh, I think this was quite a successful project. Uh, the three-speed gearbox works really well. It'll be interesting to put into an actual uh, powered-up, uh, you know, project like a vehicle or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I might try that next time. But thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of it. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.